I wanted to do this quick video on how to get rid of painful periods, which are also called menstrual cramps, or known as period pain. They're all really the same thing. You have a cramping going on in the lower part of your body. Now the question is, what is cramping? Well, it's the uterus. Yes, the uterus can cramp. Because when you think about like even pregnancy, it's the uterus that contracts. Well, during your menstrual cycle, the uterus also contracts as well. And so we're dealing with a spasm of a muscle. There's a really quick thing that you can do to give relief to yourself. So what you do is you just lay on your stomach. That's called a prone position. And then you put your arms up and you stretch backwards, hyperextending your lower back, which will stretch out the uterus in front of your back. So that's the quick thing to give you immediate relief, and it will help if you can do it. Sometimes it's so painful that you can't even do that, but at least uh, that's something I would attempt uh, as a first thing. All right, so now you can't keep stretching all day long, so what can you do to really get to the root of the problem? If you look up uh, painful periods or menstrual cramps, you will always see this word prostaglandins. Well, it's a chemical that signals uh, certain parts of your body to do certain things like uh, create inflammation. And this is why prostaglandins are behind inflammation in the brain. And when people take medication like ibuprofen for pain or a headache, it is blocking these prostaglandins. But there's different types of prostaglandins. And the one that we're going to talk about has a very specific purpose of causing a vasoconstriction in the uterus if it's too high. And I will get into why it's too high in a minute, but let's talk about what you can do to inhibit or lower prostaglandins. Most people take ibuprofen, okay, and it does work. The problem is there's side effects. There's a lot of side effects. It can affect your stomach. It can create other issues, which I don't want to get into. But what I do want to get into is an alternative similar to ibuprofen that has virtually no side effects. There was one study, and I'll put the link down below, that showed the comparison of ibuprofen to this remedy, okay? And it was very, very close. Ibuprofen did win out in being more effective, but initially both of those proved to be very, very similar or compatible in effectiveness. And the remedy is cinnamon. That's right. So just sprinkle a little cinnamon and sugar on your toast and you'll be good to go. And I'm being very sarcastic. The type of cinnamon that you want is it going to be in a capsule, okay? Because you need to get a gram or a thousand milligrams and you're going to take that three times a day. But cinnamon has a lot of different properties for regulating blood sugars. But in this situation, it gives an anti-spasmodic effect. Okay, it gets rid of spasms and it can help you reduce inflammation. Why? Because it lowers prostaglandins, the specific ones that are affecting the uterus. Now, the question you're probably asking right now is why are these prostaglandins too high in the first place? It's really in a balance with two hormones. We have a excessively lowered amount of progesterone and we have too much estrogen. That is the combination that uh, creates this problem. And it just so happens that cinnamon lowers estrogen and it increases progesterone. So it not only affects that prostaglandin, but it helps to go deeper. A couple other things that I recommend that also will directly inhibit prostaglandins. Vitamin D3, and I would take uh, about 10,000 IUs three times a day throughout the day at the same time you're taking the cinnamon as well as calcium and magnesium together and the vitamin d helps the absorption of the calcium and the magnesium go into the tissues helping to relax the spasm vitamin d is also a potent anti-inflammatory as well and the third thing that might be very beneficial is omega-3 fatty acids in the form of cod liver oil um, omega-3 is a natural uh, pain reliever a natural anti-inflammatory. So now you have a very potent solution for menstrual cramps or period pain. Now, because of the censoring and the suppressing of the algorithms on YouTube, it's becoming more difficult to find my content. And there's a lot of content that I cannot put on YouTube, unfortunately. So to make sure you have full access of all my information, go to drberg.com and subscribe to my newsletter by clicking the link down below in the description. I will see you on the other side. So now that you know that, the question is, what actually is behind this imbalance of too much estrogen and not enough progesterone? 
And for that, I put this video up right here. Check it out.